St. Cuthbert of Lindisfarne, known as the Wonder Worker of Britain, was a 7th century English hermit and bishop. Such was his zeal for prayer that sometimes he kept vigil for three or four nights in a row without ever sleeping in his bed, whether he was praying alone in some hidden place or reciting the Psalms, he always did manual work to fight off the heaviness of sleep. He would spend Great Lent and Advent Lent both forty nights long in prayer, strict fasting, and tears. As a result of his humble asceticism, Cuthbert acquired many gifts from the Creator. Firstly, seeing his obedience to the Creator, the Creator made creation obedient to Cuthbert. In the saint was restored the obedience of creation to Adam, whom creation had formerly obeyed on account of Adam's sinless humility. This gift was shown in Cuthbert's power over the four elements, earth, air, fire, water, and over the animal world. Once he stopped a fire through praying for a change in the direction of the wind. On two occasions he calmed storms at sea, and another time the sea obeyed him, yielding him up wood as he needed it. Many times the birds and animals obeyed him. Once, fasting on Friday till the late afternoon as he was wont, a horse found him half a loaf of bread in the thatch of a house. He gave half of the bread to the horse and took the rest for himself. Another time, after he had prayed all night long in the sea, two sea otters came to warm his feet and dry him with their fur. They received his blessing. After fasting, a large fish was brought to him by an eagle. The fish was cut in two, half for the eagle, half for a family and himself. Learn to have constant faith and hope in the Lord. He who serves God shall never die of hunger, said Cuthbert. Another time, when he ordered birds who had come to eat barley he had sown to depart, they obeyed him. Ravens were reproved by him, and then later brought him lard as a sign of their repentance. What care should men take to learn obedience and humility, he said, when even birds hasten to wash away their faults. St. Cuthbert, the patron saint of England, one of my favorite saints, and there were many other things he did. He's definitely worth taking a look at.